How's it everyone? Welcome to another racket review right here on Open Court. So I'm super excited today because I am trying out a racket brand that I've never tried before. So today, let's take a look at the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3. Before we get into this, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button if you like this content to keep the reviews coming. Let's check out the Diadem Elevate. Before we get into this review, I want to give a quick shout out to On Point Sports right here on Oahu in Hawaii. That's where I borrowed this racket. They're always letting me use their gear, use their rackets. They have an awesome selection of strings, pickleball gear, and other sports gear. So if you guys are ever on the island of Oahu here in Hawaii, check out On Point Sports. So Diadem is a US-based brand. They also make strings. I recently reviewed the Diadem Solstice Black. I know they have a lot of popular shaped polyesters on the market. So today I'm taking a look at the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3. This is the newest edition of this Elevate and this is their sort of control racket line within their series. So this is the third generation. It keeps the same innovation as the previous generation which is the FS system or flex stabilization. What is that? It says combining high density foam and HMT carbon to create a stable powerful feel. Just sounds like marketing lingo to me, but you know, all of these racket brands put some sort of innovation into it and they just kind of name it something different every time. This new version three introduces Crybon, which actually got me a little interested because Crybon, um, it was introduced in the head graphene touch series, the touch line, which uh, was, I believe released in 2015 with the speed and the rest of the touch series. Crybon is that rubber dampening material located in the Graphene Touch series of head rackets and those rackets were super dampened, super muted, couldn't feel anything. It wasn't very highly reviewed by a lot of people and people always uh, criticized it for being too muted. So when I heard that this new version 3 incorporated Crybon, I was kind of curious and I'm assuming that this is going to be a pretty dampened racket because the Crybon in the Graphene Touch made it super muted. I didn't particularly love it that much. I like a crisper, livelier feel and I thought that series was too muted as did a lot of people. So I'm kind of curious why Diadem went and uh, put Crybon in here, but it is good at absorbing shock and if you do have a sensitive elbow, then this could potentially, I haven't hit with it yet, but could potentially mitigate some of that arm pain. So let's take a quick look at the specs of the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3. It's a pretty standard setup for a 98 square inch. It does have a 1620 string pattern, which is pretty interesting. That extra cross string will prevent the mains from moving a little bit. But if you guys can see this string pattern here, the outermost main is very close to the edge of the frame, which means that the main strings are very open. So this is going to get a lot of string movement, a lot of spin, a little bit more easy power compared to a tighter main setup and I'm assuming that this is probably going to have a pretty high net clearance. It also has a 21.5 millimeter straight beam so that's pretty thin, that's on the thinner side. It's definitely thinner than uh, my Speed Pro for example so that can contribute to control as well as the 98 square inch. I like the weight and balance, 10.8 ounces unstrung. 320 millimeter balance is pretty standard. It, it is a little bit on the even balance side as you guys can see here, but it's a pretty typical uh, weight and balance for this classification of racket. So I've never used the Diadem racket before. I think this is going to be on the slightly muted side, but I'm excited to finally try my hand with the Diadem Elevate version 3. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so let's jump on the court and see how this plays. So let's start with the pros of the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3 and I'm pleased to say that there were a lot. First of all, my favorite shot to hit with this racket by far was my forehand ground stroke and returns. It has been a long time since I got this level of both control and power on my forehand. Although this racket is soft, the pop when I struck the ball in the center of the sweet spot felt incredible in the sense that I felt I could hit the ball with pace deep into the backcourt. 
If I managed to take the ball early on a return of serve, my opponent would still be recovering from their service motion when they tried to return my shot, which led to easy points or putaways. The thin straight beam gave me excellent control on full swings, and the low launch angle kept my shot from sailing long for the most part. The launch trajectory off my forehand wing was ideal with the Elevate, and it was reminiscent of my old Speed Pro, the 2013 one, which had an 1820 string pattern. This more open 16x20 gave me good control but also decent pace on my full swings. The Diadem Elevate was also very stable for a 98 square inch racket. It might have something to do with the 320mm balance point. Unfortunately, while I was researching this racket's specs, I couldn't find the swing weight anywhere, but I would guess it would be between 325 and 330. It wasn't too head heavy to be sluggish, but it wasn't light enough to be considered whippy either. And this provided a lot of stability on off-center hits, which I appreciate because I sometimes have a tendency to overswing, especially on returns and forehand ground strokes during a fast-paced exchange. I think advanced players will find plenty of control and stability against hard hitters with the Elevate 98. Next, I alluded to this in my racket profile, but the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3 was very soft. This was exactly as I expected because it uses Crybon, the same material that is in the Graphene Touch series of head rackets. It was not as soft as the Graphene Touch series or even my Prince Phantom, but it is one of the softer rackets I've tried recently and I think people with elbow or wrist pain will find this Elevate very comfortable and forgiving. I personally don't really like soft rackets too much because they tend to lack impact feedback, but this Elevate gave me ample response on my full swings. The Diadem Elevate 98 also cuts through the air well on pronation for the kick serve especially. This racket doesn't seem to have any special spin technology built into it and I usually struggle to hit effective kick serves with a balance point above 315 but the thin beam allowed the Elevate 98 to slice through when I was uncoiling and I got my kicks up high and out which is what I like because it forces opponents to hit the ball above their shoulders. It also has decent control and consistency on flat serves. It didn't provide as much power on flat bombs as some other 98s like the E-Zone and V-Core 98, but it was serviceable, but definitely the serve I used the most with this racket was the kicker. The thin beam also allowed underspin volleys and slices to stay low and skip low off the ground. The Elevate 98 is fairly maneuverable at the net, but not whippy. It definitely sacrifices a little maneuverability for some stability, but I think skilled net players will be able to wield this stick with no trouble at all. That extra cross string definitely also added some control when slicing and I felt comfortable slicing toward the sidelines to open up the middle of the court. Overall, I think I like the Diadem Elevate 98 V3 better from the baseline than at net and for one reason only, my forehand. I haven't been able to hit such punishing forehands with the racket in a while and it was super fun to pound aggressive forehand returns with this racket. I do however want to mention that there was a big difference in feel on my backhand side which leads me into the cons. So let's get into the cons of the Diadem Elevate 98 V3 and for some reason I just didn't feel anywhere near as confident on my backhand ground strokes as I did with my forehand. This is the reason I don't put this racket above my Speed Pro as one of my favorite ground stroke rackets. Forehands are more powerful, but I noticed a big difference on my backhand. I'm going to attribute this to the lower than expected launch angle. Because I tend to hit my backhand flatter, I kept clipping the top of the net. When I did hit it cleanly and at the perfect trajectory, the ball penetrated deep, but any slight mistake in the angle of my racket on my backhand sent the ball into the net or sailing long. After a while, I actually started slowing down my swing on the backhand so I could prioritize keeping the ball in play, which affected my confidence. When I play doubles, I almost exclusively return on the ad side, but I actually asked my partner if I could return on the deuce side at one point because I didn't feel too comfortable hitting backhand returns. This was a pretty strange experience where the forehand was so good, but the backhand felt a lot worse for me. Secondly, the kick serve was great but my slice serve was a lot more difficult to hit than usual. The low launch and lower power level caused me to hit a lot of slice serves into the net, and I double faulted a lot when I tried to hit a second serve slice. If you're taller than five feet, five inches, which is my height, this might not be an issue for you because you have a higher contact point, but I need more net clearance on my slice serves than what the Elevate 98 gave me. 
Lastly, the soft and muted feel. Thankfully, the response is not as muted as the head graphene touch rackets or even the Wilson countervail rackets, but it is still too muted for me. I like stiffer, more responsive rackets because I like to hit touch shots and angles and I had a tough time gauging the touch on my droppers and the distance on the short angles when I was trying to hit short angle forehands towards the sidelines. I ended up hitting the ball long. Because a big part of my game is built around touch, I don't think this is a racket that I can commit to. So now let's ask the question of who is the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3 for? The answer is fairly obvious. It's for players who want a soft and comfortable racket with good control and stability for ground strokes. I believe this racket leans more to the advanced player's side because there isn't much free power, especially with that extra cross string, it saps a little bit of power. You have to bring that on your own, but the stability definitely packs a small but noticeable punch. The racket feels similar to the Head Radical Pro in my opinion. They're both 98 square inch rackets with good stability and control on ground strokes. If you like the Radical Pro or other rackets like that, but want something softer, try out the Diadem Elevate 98 V3. You might be pleasantly surprised. I certainly was as this was my first time trying out a Diadem racket and this playtest has made me curious. I definitely need to give Diadem rackets and strings a closer look from now on. Thank you for watching this review of the Diadem Elevate 98 version 3 right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.